Guardian Druid Mage Tower? Done. In this video, I'm going to go over my strategy to beat the Guardian Druid Mage Tower. And I'm just going to share a few of the tips and tricks that I picked up over multiple play sessions. I think it took me anywhere from 8 to 10 hours to get it. I'm not the best bear druid, so it took me longer than some other people. First things first, you're going to find your fluffiest jacket to do some Guardian Druid cosplay. I was getting a lot of 5 to 10% wipes in the last phase last night without the jacket. But I woke up this morning, it was a bit chilly, put on the jacket, and got into my bear state of mind. I think it made a big difference because then I killed the boss pretty easily. So once you got your bear gear on, we can look at the actual gear that you want on your character. So you can completely run this with just Shadowlands base gear. Don't need anything fancy. That being said, I was doing that for the first six hours of my plays. I was getting to like 15% on Cruel and stuff and everything was going fine, but I really just wanted to get it done. So I thought, why not just buy a couple items just to make it a little bit faster for myself. The first thing I bought was the Endless Tincture of Renewed Combat. This is is a really good healing trinket. I'll show you the healing breakdown later. It just heals you a crap ton every time you kill a mob. You'll see me abuse it during the run a little bit. We also have this Ghost Iron Dragonling, which does a fair bit of damage to just random mobs. It's a random proc. It also has these sockets, which you can buy from a vendor. You don't want to buy them on the auction house because people are just grossly overselling them. So make sure you buy the sockets from a vendor. If you don't want to run these trinkets, I've seen people run File. I've seen people run gland i've seen people run iqd i've seen people run blood spattered scale i've seen people run arcano crystal i've seen people also try to farm the emerald nightmare trinket the from the first boss nithendra they've tried to farm the ravaged seed pod i tried to farm that on mythic heroic and normal of the raid and it didn't drop once for me so that's unlucky but that's also a really good trinket so there's a lot of options in terms of trinkets you can get i have boots that have a socket in it just trying to get more sockets you know for my sockets you'll see i'm mostly versed out out in terms of sockets. Just more versus more good. The only other really fancy items I have are the Joe Tunger, the, the weapon from the nine, which turns you into a big angel dude and you just mess stuff up when you're an incarn. If you don't have this, just other weapons are fine too, but if you got it, you might as well use it. And I have the crafted dreadful gladiator helm, which has two socket slots. I put this primal diamond in it, which has three verse and 3% increased crit effect. And I also put in this six agility slot for it. I figured this was better than my dom slot helm. Yeah, I don't think I really needed the helm. I was getting really close without it, but maybe it was a placebo thing that I was just getting better when I bought the helm and I'm like, oh, now I'm extra invincible and I was just more confident. So maybe it helped in that sense. In terms of consumables, you'll definitely want to pick up some Unbridled Fury potions. They scale just with the most damage right now in... And you'll also want War Scrolls from BFA. You'll want the War Scroll of Battle Shout and the War Scroll of Fortitude. You don't need these, but they are nice to have. I didn't start buying these until I was really, really, really close, and it just put me over the edge a little bit. Uh, I only bought 10, and I used all 10. For food, you can either do the Feast of Gluttonous Hedonism, which will give you main stat, or... You can do bear tartar, which every time you kill a mob, you'll get a speed boost, which can be nice to get you out of stuff. You also will want a flask and veiled augment runes as well. If you do want cheaper potions, I recommend phantom fires. They also scale really well and do a lot of damage. They're just not quite as good as unbridled furies. And last but not least, you'll definitely, definitely, definitely want drums. The drums of deathly ferocity. Talent wise, I run Brambles. I think Brambles is low-key really busted. It does a lot of damage, and if you use your Bark Skin right, it can really negate a lot of the adds in P1 and P2 as well. Wild Charge, you're gonna get knocked around, you'll wanna charge back in. Balance Affinity, you're gonna spend a majority of P1 in Boomy spec, so you'll want that in addition to Typhoon. Part of the Wild, Part of the Wild is just really good because it'll make your Boomy do so much more damage. Galactic Guardian, if you use your Moonfires well when you get a Galactic Guardian proc, then you'll deal really strong damage with it. Moonfire should be your highest damage in the Mage Tower. I went Earth Warden just because I was taking so much damage, but I do think Survival of the Fittest might actually be better just so you can get more Bark Skins and you can pop Brambles more and maybe even Survival Instincts more. And Rend and Tear, I I think is the way to go for the last. So now that we looked at the talents, let's just get into the run. So during this little downtime, we're gonna use our feast, we're gonna use our last war scrolls, and I'm gonna use my veiled augment rune as well. And I'm just gonna talk about the opener here really quick. 
We're gonna use heart and we're just gonna stay in Boomy as much as possible. We're gonna heart, we're gonna pop our dots and then send star surges and just get into an eclipse and do some Boomy spells. Then when the first ads come out, you're gonna see me bark and dot them. And you see whenever we get a Galactic Guardian proc, we're gonna use it immediately. We're also gonna dot the eye so that we don't get knocked back. I actually use Galactic Guardian on it, which is kind of cringe. And we use Typhoon to knock back Varus, which is good. So now I'm just casting spells on Varus. And when these adds come in, I'm gonna bark and I'm gonna sunfire them. And then we're also gonna use the very first orb on them too, which might seem weird, but it's chill. Don't worry about it. So we're just moon firing and stuff. And then we're gonna use the first orb and our brambles is just deleting these mobs. Look at them die with sunfire and brambles. And we go into bear to kick, we get a thrash in, and now we're just running around moon firing. Just keep up our Moonfire, we're back in Boomy, casting spells, get the dots out, I get knocked, but it's fine because I'm going into a statue. You want to keep up Sunfire and Moonfire as much as possible, and when you can, you can regrowth. So I regrowth, I see he's casting, drain life, go in and kick, these guys are nether storming. I'm gonna roar, just cast some thrashes, kill him, the Endless Tincture is just healing me to full every time I kill an add. Moonfire and eye. Want to stay on top of the eyes, just keep moon firing them. Now I'm back into Boomy because the Infernal's basically dead. Moonfire Varus, Dot Varus. You see, he's basically already almost dead at a minute 30. This is just keeping up our dots on him. So he's casting Drain Life, and we just Typhoon him. Here I have a Galactic Guardian proc. I'm gonna go in and try to get the Roar. Got the Roar on both gonna try to kill these really quick get our health back to full we use our galactic guardian on the eye which is a little cringe but it's fine we're so fast at killing Varus that it's not the worst thing in the world so i'm gonna pause it right before the phase swaps really quick because i want to talk about what to do right when the cruel phase happens cruel's gonna cast annihilation and you can live through just the first annihilation with iron furs and be in berserking and stuff so you're fine when cruel comes down you want to try to get a sunfire on him a moonfire on him and make sure you have dots on the infernals too then you want to go into bear lust use whatever potion you have use your jotunger if you have it you want to go dummy damage mode and what's really really important about cruel is managing orbs as well as managing your cds so managing bark managing survival instincts managing frenzied regen is all extremely important in this phase so the phase starts i'm gonna get my dots on cruel and i'm gonna pop everything get my galactic guardian on him I'm just gonna be thrashing or thrashing or thrashing or thrashing and he's gonna cast annihilate we live these he has his Twisted Reflection, you gotta kick that. I'm thrashing, we thrash. I get knocked back, I charge back in. We're thrashing still, we're doing the damage. We're gonna Moonfire, and these adds, we're gonna kite them away, but still thrash and stuff. And I'm low on HP, so I'm gonna orb here. You wanna be slightly liberal with your orbs, just like, be safe than sorry, you know? So second Annihilate, I'm just going to Frenzy Regen and kind of pray a little bit. I had two Iron Furs up, so I was safe. We're just Moon Firing and Dotting, and I feel really good. He's at 12%. I see I have two orbs over there. I just got to play it safe here. Just got to play it safe. I got Iron Fur up, so I see those adds are coming in. I'm kind of low HP, so I'm right next to the orb. I'm ready. Pop the orb. I'm just going to back off, try to thrash, try to do everything I can. I see Annihilate come out, I Survival Instincts, and I'm just hoping I live this. Twisted Reflection, I kick, and everything's cool, everything's cool. Moonfire, Moonfire, I Bark, just to stay alive, I Frenzy Regen, and I Healing Pot too. Healing Pot's really big. So now I'm in here, I'm just trying to bait for the orb, because I'm kind of just hoping that I kill the boss in time. He's at 1%, and... You see, actually, I'm like racing because Velen's almost dead, but I just barely kill him before Velen dies. And that was honestly not the best cruel phase, but we just barely eked it out. And fuck it, we take those, right? And just listen to the nerd screams when I got it. Let's fucking go, baby! Let's go! Hmm.
hidden things that I wanted to look at for the damage breakdown. Potion of Unbridled Fury obviously does a lot of damage. One big thing that I was surprised about was how much damage Swipe did. I started swiping a lot more later into my runs. I think it did a lot more damage than I thought it would do in comparison to something like Mangle. Mangle did good damage when I got a proc for Mangle, but not so much outside of that. But Swipe did a lot of damage overall. Also, Brambles. Brambles doing almost 5% of our overall damage. Almost as much as Thrash Dot. That's quite a lot of damage for especially a first row talent and it's just damage from bark skin which if you ran survival instincts you could potentially get one or two more bark skins throughout the fight that would be kind of crazy moonfire doing a quarter of our entire damage for the fight that's pretty crazy the ghost iron dragonling does 8k melee and then i think it's another 3 or 4k with its little lightning cast so that's pretty decent damage as well our shadow coil does 3k everything just adds up you know it's a lot of little things that add up but definitely what helped me out was recognizing that Swipe does a lot of damage, Brambles does a lot of damage, just really trying to etch out those last little bits of damage can really help change a phase. And I mean, just look at that fell bear, buds. But yeah, thank you all. I can finally stop bashing my head against this, and now it's time to do the rest of them and get the book mount. Let me know what other mage towers you would like to see. I'm planning to just do a bunch of different ones. I have a lot of alts. If there's any in particular you'd like to see, I'm going to give them a shot. I'd like to get as many done as possible. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Check out the Twitch, twitch.tv slash shoe, twitter.com slash wow. If you have any questions for me, you can join my Discord. A link will be in the description below, or you can comment in the video below as well. And thank you all.